So here we have the BMW 320i M Sport convertible on a 10 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. From the outside though you can see it's a two-door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot first of all and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have reversing sensors. Currently as you uh, know the roof is down so the roof is uh, occupying the area of the boot that it should go in uh, which means that your boot space is this section underneath here which goes a long way back but let me show you what it's like when the roof is up. As you can see, you get loads more space when the roof is up, as you may well expect, of course. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around, and a great looking car too. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, first of all, we have the speedometer and fuel gauge. We have the rev counter on the right-hand side. And then in the center, you can see the total miles of the car. They are 73,773. Uh, you can change information displayed above that by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have stereo controls available on here. Uh, and then the stereo itself is down in the center console area. So... Uh, We've got our main volume over this side. Audio is where you can access your AM, FM radio, your CD player, and you can see there, uh, USB and auxiliary inputs that are available to you as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. Uh, on the menu side of things, uh, you can use this dial to access certain things. For example, you can configure time, date, etc. You've got your onboard computer as well, and you pair your phone from here by hitting the search button and following the instructions on your phone and on this screen, of course. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in as well. And when you're happy with those settings, your air conditioning is on, so that's off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures that you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed and the direction of the air for you. Press also again to go back to whatever setting you had it on previously. Uh, underneath that, we can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is off when that light shows. We have uh, some storage in here for coins, etc. A 12 volt charging socket, six speed manual gearbox, the button for the roof, which I'm gonna come back to in a moment. And then inside this central storage section, we have our auxiliary and USB input. So lifting, the button for the roof uh, will start the whole roof operation. So the windows will go down first. The roof will begin to open. Uh, the tailgate section will open up, as you can see, uh, and the roof will go down into that section. The whole thing is very quick, given that it's a metal roof as well. Uh, the tailgate will shut, and once it's done, that's it. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.